Hey everyone, Sarah from Earth Spirit. How are you today? Or this evening, or whenever you watch this. <laughs> um, so this is a video about crystals for protection. So what I've done is I've picked out 10 crystals that are good for protection. And um, yeah, just going to go through those 10. But um, you, there is other ones you can use. Um, but I've tried to pick out some that aren't so common, like some that some are common, but some that, that you might not think of. But these are just ten that I thought were good, um, good protection crystals, and ones that you might not have thought of that are great to use. So the first one is amethyst. So um, it's emotional and spiritual protector. So you got your amethyst there. But of course, it comes in the tumbles and it comes in bigger pieces and and the geodes and caves and things like that so um yeah so so um amethyst is um so it protects against negative energies um but it's it's also does lots of other things so it's just quite a, a good one to have for protection so it stops um psychic attacks blocks stress and um yeah it it it's really good for for protection but it's also for inner peace so you get the two benefits or more than two actually because it helps you sleep and lots of other things but just a great one for protection so blocks stress blocks psychic attacks um <clears throat> yeah just any energies that you don't want around you and okay so we've got well, I'm trying to find the right crystal for the next one so we've got obsidian so it's strongly protective um, it forms a shield against negativity blocks psychic attacks disperses unloving unlo thoughts so if you're if you're getting um, having loving unloving thoughts about yourself or someone's having unloving thoughts towards you this helps disperse that um, I've just got some little notes so I don't forget anything <laughs> up here so um, yeah it's strongly protective I use this quite a bit it's really grounding so it's really good for your base chakra and it actually um, creates a cord of energy that connects you to the earth as well um, so it, and it protects highly sensitive people so that's a really good thing for sensitive people so people like empaths people who pick up energy really well the obsidian's really good for pick for protecting you guys so that'd be me too um it's one of my special crystals that i do wear quite a bit and um yeah i, I have a little black pendant that i wear quite a bit of of obsidian so yeah it's really it's a really good protection crystal can help with um, negative spirits as well around you but the, um, the best one for negative spirits I find is black tourmaline so there's a great big piece of raw black tourmaline so um, I should be telling you the prices because they're all available at my shop this one's 29 the obsidian um, the amethyst is 20 We've got lots of different pieces. These are just ones I grabbed. This one's on my website, 69. So earthspiritnatures.com.au. So yeah, I'll keep holding that one. So it's really good to um, protect against negative energies, negative spirit in the house. So if you place this in your house, if you're having funny activity or spirit, it's really good for that. Um, it it's got a cloak of protection. It creates a cloak of protection. That's how black tourmaline works. Um, it protects during rituals. So if you're doing a some kind of ritual, you might want to, and you want some protection around that. But I mean, I cast a circle when I'm doing a ritual. But if you want some extra protection, extra oomph when you're doing something like that, um, this will create protection around that. Um, it's also great for electromagnetic. Um, energy so cell phones computers things like that it protects you from that um, it can also help with ill wishes from other people so people oh, it's psychic attacks again and just ill wishes from protects you from that okay so we've got um, tiger's eye so tiger's eye is a stone of protection um, a little bit it's four dollars this piece quite a beautiful there's the golden tiger's eye you can see that 
So we've got lots of other pieces too, and jewellery in most of these as well. So um, this this used to be carried as a talisman against ill wishes. So um, very good for protection. It also helps take away negativity, depression, that sort of thing. So um, it's making you feel protected because it's actually dispersing those energies of of depression and that. So you do feel safer. You do feel more confident your self-esteem goes up therefore you feel protected and in control and you've got courage and yeah so it's good for that as well so beautiful tiger's eye okay and it's also a lot what you're drawn to to use too so um you know what you're drawn to out of these another really good one that i haven't mentioned in these 10 is um is labradorite that's i love wearing that for protection psychic abilities stone of magic yeah, it's a transformation. So that's that one there. Yeah, it's another protection that I haven't, stone that I haven't mentioned on here. Um, so what do we got next? So lapis. This lapis protects, oh, here we are, I was hiding. <laughs> this is a big raw piece of lapis. So it's also on my website and it's $69. So we've got um, smaller pieces and jewelry and everything in the lapis as well but it protects relationships and it actually contacts your guardian spirits and brings them down to help protect you so um, really good that way um, and it blocks and returns psychic attacks so not only does it block it it actually returns it back to the person who sent it to you so that's a really good protection one as well so they all they all handle it a little bit differently but all really good at just depending what you're going through which one you might be drawn to and which one you might want to pick this one's also great for your throat chakra which helps you communicate so that's also a protection device too isn't it being able to communicate and and speak up for yourself so that's that one so carnelian is inspired and protected and Throughout history, they use this as a protection crystal and the beautiful, vibrant colour. This is just one little piece. This one's $4. Um, bit, bit bigger tumble, this one. And we've got jewellery. And, and it was this one was also... Um, like, I'm glad I've just put some little notes there because I would forget because there's just... I'm just um, trying, <laughs> trying to remember everything all at once here. Um, things that I would remember normally, but when you put on the spot, <laughs> you just need some little <laughs> notes to so you don't forget anything. Because I want to make sure I give you all the information. So this was really good for going on. A, they used to use this to, when their loved ones passed, so that they would pass on to the next life or the afterlife safely. So they used to um, it used to protect the spirit on its journey to the next life or to the afterlife carnelian it's also really energizing it's um, uplifting it's sacral chakra so it's good for fertility so yeah but another protection crystal so what do we got next amber amber was a talisman for protection against negative outside influences this one's thirty dollars it's a raw it's actually not a crystal it's actually tree sap petrified tree sap or tree um resin so and it's it's quite hard to like it's quite expensive because it's so old like it's been petrified and yeah so this piece is thirty dollars sometimes they've got little a lot of the ones we've had here have had little ants and things or little insects in them and um yeah so what was i saying oh talisman for protection against um outside influences so we've got lots of jewelry in the amber as well but it protects you from yeah, outside people that are trying to affect you from the from you know sending negative vibes to you and that sort of thing. So it's also beautiful to connect with nature and grounding as well, <clears throat> and quite healing. Okay, I need I need the lapis. I've got to, my throat's a bit funny. I'll just put that on my throat chakra for a minute. Okay, so what do we got next? Angel eye. It's protection for the environment or your body. So the protection protection for around you, your environment and your body. This one's six dollars, this little angel light. It's a bit more pricey than some of the other crystals. So it's especially great as an elis elisca, elixir, sorry. Um, <laughs> 
Look, that um, lapis didn't work. <laughs> Helping me talk. Uh, Alexa. So it's when you put the crystalline water, and if you drink that, um, it's a powerful protector. It's they say to use it that and it also connects with your angels so it's also because it connects with your angels it's bringing them down to protect you as well so that's another really good point about angel lights bringing your guides your angels whatever you believe in in to protect you as well okay so bloodstone it transmits negative energy purifies a space while protecting it and banishes evil and negativity so it's always like a dark green with the red through it this one's 39 so yeah that's really interesting that it's um so it'd be really good for uh, like negative spirits and things as well because it banishes evil and negativity but um, it also purifies the space once once it banishes them so it's also cleansing that space for you as well so that's a beautiful protection. Crystal is bloodstone. We've got um, other pieces, little tumbles in it and everything as well. Okay, this one's pyrite. So this is number 10, pyrite. So it's a strong protective stone. It shields from negative energy as well as environmental pollutants. So anything that's um, going to affect you in the environment that's um, like maybe... Um, smoke that you're breathing in or horrible energies that you're taking in it's going to protect from that as well so it is actually the fool's gold and it is beautiful it's quite an uplifting crystal as well so yeah great one there for protection as well and that's the 10 but I did mention the labradorite's another one so that would be 11 great protection crystal as well and also I have to mention this is quite an obvious one but I have to mention the clear quartz because it kind of puts like a white light of protection around you it is very protection it's also very healing it does amplify energy but as long as you cleanse it and you're careful with how you use it it is fantastic and I often use it for crystal grids to protect houses and rooms and things like that and also in when doing circles and things like that it's great to to put around the room to protect it especially when you get rid of a negative energy or spirit or something around you can put that around the room to stop that energy coming back and black tourmaline is really good for that as well um, but yeah clear quartz puts like a beautiful light white light of protection around you and it's always beautiful for protection so i had to just do that as an extra one it's quite a um most people sort of know that it, that use crystals it's a common one to use for protection and healing and that sort of thing so yes so that's given you 12 i was only going to do 10 so um 12 protection crystals there for you so um all of them available that one's on the website too it's 69 um any that you saw that you'd like uh that aren't on the website just contact me through my facebook page which is a spirit natures and um or just contact me um through my email which is sarah at spiritnatures.com.au and you can um ask about any of those Yes, or you can call call us at the shop on 0263629773 if you're interested in, in any of those crystals, but a lot of them are on the website. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and hope you got some information from that and um, yeah, I'll talk to you again. I'm going to do some more different crystals for different things for you to um, just give you some more information about crystals. So I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for connecting magic and blessings to you all. Bye. See you. Bye.